T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is normal. It is T plus 45 seconds, and we've just had a nominal liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle carrying our Starlink payload on its way to its targeted orbit. In just about 20 seconds coming up here, we will be passing through max Q. Falcon 9 is supersonic. That is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see, which is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees throughout ascent. Vehicle is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. And we've just heard that call out from Max Q. Coming up next in about a minute will be three events back to back, starting off with MECO or main engine cutoff, followed immediately by stage separation. And this is where the first stage separates from the second stage. And then followed by SES 1, which is second engine startup. And back engine chill. And we should be able to see all three of those events live on your screen. But right now we've got an awesome view looking aft on the vehicle with the earth in the background. Now, if you're just now joining us, we're about 30 seconds away from Miko main engine cutoff, stage separation and SES one or second engine start one. Is that main engine cut off? Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. Let's see the stage separation. First stage separating from second stage on your left screen. Come and on the engine. right, second engine startup. That's that MVAC engine on our second stage. And there's that bright red glow on the engine. So now coming up in about 20 seconds is fairing deploy. And as Lauren mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to catch both payload fairing halves on our recovery vessels, Miss Tree and Miss Chief. We will un it will be unlikely that we will see these live on the webcast. So we'll bring you updates as they become available. But you can also check into our social media for updates as well. Fairing separation confirmed. And there's that call out for Fairing separation. There's fairing deploy. You can see that on your right screen. Those fairing halves are now making, you can see that on your screen actually, the fairing halves are making their way back to Earth and hopefully we can catch those on our recovery vessels. West Bermuda.
Okay, so we have on both sides of your screen here, we got stage one on the left and stage two on the right. So a lot of really cool stuff coming up all at once or in rapid succession here in the next few minutes. On the left side, what we're gonna see on the stage one side of things is at about T plus six minutes and 24 seconds, more or less, you're gonna hear the call out and hopefully visually see the stage one entry burn. That's where we reignite three of those uh, Merlin 1D engines and that allows the second, sorry, the first stage to slow down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's stage atmosphere. Stage two is on a nominal trajectory. All right, as you just heard, stage two is on a nominal trajectory. That's really cool. Meanwhile, stage one is coasting down, uh, getting ready for that entry burn. That burn's gonna last just under 20 seconds. After that entry burn, stage one will continue to coast down towards the drone ship. And at about T plus eight minutes or so, you're gonna hear the call out for the landing burn. That is where we reignite a single Merlin 1D engine, that center engine E9, and that slows the vehicle down to zero velocity. And hopefully you'll see a cool image of it standing right up on the drone ship. Meanwhile, stage two continues to perform nominally, wearing that MVAC is at full power. Now, right after the stage one landing, about 20 seconds later, you're gonna hear the call out for Seco one, that second engine cutoff one. That is where we cease to burn the second stage engine and takes us into our first coast phase.